so in this tutorial we are going to demonstrate how to determine peering capacity of a new type of foundation called Pax foundation as shown in this 3d model it's just as isolated footing with four beams at the sides So let's get started, start a new project. Hearing capacity. My footing will be four meters times four. So I just need here about 20 meter so it will be 24 meter from x as the x maximum 24 and the x minimum to negative 20 and the same for y <clears throat> hit ok then we are going to define the material For example, I just take another material about sand, so drag and drop, hit edit, you can edit the gamma and the strength parameter. Okay. Make sure that the interface is manual and the internal is 0.7 hit ok then we are going to have a concrete make sure it's linear yes it's linear elastic model with this parameter create a poor hole log at 0 comma 0 add the sand to negative 12 you can add water at minus 1 or if you don't have water you can hit minus 999 there is no water so I will include water in my calculations let's proceed to structure step we will use surfaces then we will make extrusion draw any random surface then hit escape then double click on here the first will be negative 2 and negative 2 the second one will be here to and negative two. The third one will be here was two comma two. The fourth one will be here with negative two and two. This is our foundation. We will extrude this to minus 1.8 as this is one this is 1.8 in depth then we need to construct this beams so I will to rotate you have to press control and keep pressing then press the mouse 
middle control plus mouse middle button then we are going to click on the volume here right click decompose it into surfaces then I will delete the surface and I will delete this so and this too we have four sided here we can extrude this and this and this so I will hit here extrude in x direction of 0.5 then I will delete the surface then hit here by negative 0.5 then hit apply then delete this after that you delete here and here we need to just draw another surface here between this two beams and another surface here then we will extrude it but we need to look at some problems the grid is just defining one meter by one meter so I can't take the points over these beams we can fix this we go to option visualization setting then the space in here make it 2.5 then press here in create surface point after point then hit escape then create another surface just like that then we will extrude this choose the surface and click control and keep clicking to minus 1.8 okay we have created now the four sided beam you can delete the surface and delete the surface finally we will create the interior surface then hit extrude to minus 0.5 then you can delete the surface so we will get the box foundation type now we are going to apply the material for this foundation keep clicking control and select then apply the material of concrete so now it's concrete the final step is to create load over this footing after we draw surface right click then create surface load down this drop list then we are going to apply a very large or huge type of load for example negative twenty thousand then we are going to proceed to mesh you can make local refines here or you can proceed to mesh The reason why we choose a very large or huge load that the bearing capacity is defined when a constant stress is reached versus developing the displacement and the soil body collapse. So we are going to make the soil body collapse, then we are going to read the load displacement curve 
and uh, once the we get constant stress so it is the beating capacity last we are going to proceed to stage construction here okay this is the initial stage add phase we are going to change the material of this volumes to foundation type so right click here then hide after that you choose here keep keep pressing control oh Then you can change the material here to concrete and you can show all geometry. Now you have installed the footing type. After that you add phase. Then you apply your surface load. Then proceed to calculations. I'm sorry I've I've forget I've forgotten some of my stuff. Uh, we need to store steps of the calculations so that we can get the right curve, load displacement curve. So I will wait until the initial phase calculation is started. Then I will hit the stop. If you press here the program will not terminate the calculations so we will wait until the initial step calculation start so initial step calculation has started you can press stop here so it will stop ouch it has just finished I will wait for phase one then I will stop it or you have another option here to right click here start your task manager then hit on taxes then in task after that start your program again will tell you that there is a, a crash project yes hit recover crashed project edit your phase then get to phase 2 maximum number of steps stored is 250 as the maximum step here then hit ok then proceed and continue your calculations so the software will tell you that the following calculation phases failed it's the phase 2 which has the very large load if you press here well, tells you that the soil body seems to collapse please inspect your output we will click view calculation results you'll see here that the phase one had three steps to calculate it and the phase two has 186 steps so if you wanted to show all the steps you can press here all steps will be shown so we are going to to the curves manager then we will choose point 
search closest point to zero comma zero comma zero we need this node whatever nodes you choose then go to charts hit new for retrieving data For the x-axis, we will choose the node, deformation, total displacement, and over the y-axis, we will hit the sigma m stage. We get the load, load as the sigma m stage, versus displacement. This is the load displacement curve. Here you can see that the stress is constant before the soil body collapses if you read here it's between 2, 0.2 and 0.3 it's 0.25 from the load so 0.25 times it's about 500 uh, 5000 so you can also view the displacement, head deformation, total displacement, U. Then we are going to make vertical cross section from this point here. You can type it from minus 20, 0 to 24 and 0 then hit OK then you can view, viewpoint front view you can see that how the soil body collapses here you can explain it from the plastic failure theory that's the foundation or the footing here is moving downward to form this triangle then if the soil is somehow detached to its other this flow will generate will be generated and it will be this type in the, the zone 2 will prevent this type to flow out by this passive wedge and this is what's shown here you can see it here, you can have it, you can draw it to understand. Oh yes. Sorry about that. This is the triangle then the soil wants to flow here and the passive wedge here prevent it prevented the soil to flow and this is the famous peering capacity figure Thank you for watching this video, see you soon.